simple bed and a table here with a cup and a teapot. Guardy has to do this fast because we need to do a total test on this. People are like slowly opening it going, oh, so pretty. We need to be rough with this. Sturdy enough for you? Look, it's not falling apart, yo. Lego. Well, it did right there, but you know, it's, it's okay, it's a string. It's a string, we're good, man. Once upon a brick in a mock city far, far away. What am I kidding, man? This is so awesome. But before I get into this, here's your little bonus. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and we're looking at the Lego pop-up book today. But before getting into that, just wanted to show you this real fast because, you know, when that idea was just announced that it was gonna come out, they came out with this. So this is a promotional gift that if you spend 100 US dollars, you get this thing, and actually it's pretty cool, I like it. And it's kind of like the pre, released before the book came out. So let's take a look at this. So this is Lego's creative storybook. 40291, 307 pieces, based on Han Christian Andersen. This is really small, this is a bonus, as I said. It's not gonna take too long to get into it, but this kind of leads up into the pop-up book that we're gonna see in a second. First of all, this is just purely a display. You can't really close the book. You can certainly play with the figures here on top, but if you look on the back side, yeah. I don't know why they had this piece on if they didn't really finish off this piece. But that's okay, still looks really cool. I love the idea and the concept. I thought this was a really fun little build and it's great, you know. You can probably still buy it like everywhere. I'm sure you can still buy it in the stores and stuff if you really wanted to. You wanna buy it from me? You really want to? Yeah, I can probably get my hands on it. In fact, I have two of them. What do I do with these? What do you guys want me to do with these? Or should I do a giveaway? Hmm, Christmas time is coming. Anyway, let's get back into this. So in the manual, there's actually other settings that you can build into this, but they don't come with those pieces and you have to do it by yourself. But here, let's take a look on this side and you can see printing here of Hans Christian Andersen name on there and a little kid holding a pretzel. Why is he holding a pretzel? Hot dog, man, I prefer a hot dog. And uh, he looks kind of like any other figure. doesn't look anything special. I actually really like how they did the flooring here. So that's kind of cool. It's like cobbled stone road there. And then you got this guy who's got his book open and it actually says once upon a time. Really nice detail. He's got his little pen in there. I guess he's writing the book or he's reading the book to the little boy and he's sitting on a simple little bench on the street lamp. So on the side, you got the story of the ugly duckling, which becomes a beautiful swan. Of course, he's a beautiful swan there. But if he was just an ugly duckling, he'd look like that. Really minimum effect. I do like how they use a couple of the water tiles in there. You got some plants and a water fountain. That's basically it. That's a promotional set. It's actually really awesome. I like it. Wish it would have closed or maybe have the other pieces to come and build it into the set. But this is a great start. It's a great opportunity for Lego to do something bigger and different. And of course they did that with this right here. Let's look at that. Yes, this is the big brother. Check it out. I like it. Look at it. It feels like a book. It looks like a book. So this is Lego Ideas pop-up book. 21315, 859 pieces. Man, Lego, you can just like cash in on this and make a bunch more or you can make a bunch more yourself and just make a whole bookshelf of these. So on the front here, you got this printed, I think this is like one of the biggest printed things I've seen like a, on a plate. I'm so glad it's not a sticker. Thank you, thank you. Just more of these, please. It says once upon a brick. And underneath that are two names here, Amin and Davis is kind of like the author of the book. They're actually the original designers, Jason and Grant. They did an amazing job putting this together and then they submitted it to Lego. And then you have the original Lego designers who are Wesley and Crystal that kind of fine tuned it, I guess. Is that the way to do it? Is that the way to say it? They just went in there and took their idea and like expanded on it. And look, what's inside? Nothing, because it's actually pretty awesome. Just like that. Yeah, look at that. The whole thing is flat and smooth. I actually do like this dark color green, but man, it's like a finger magnet. The hair's getting stuck on it. I can see my fingerprints getting on there. So the first set is based on Little Red Riding Hood. Here's the little house. We're gonna put this house in together. Here, put that there. Very easy to slot in. I wouldn't have never ever been able to design something like this. Look at that, it's already done. So there are a couple guidelines here that kind of help you know where to place the plates. And you can see from here, if I turn it around, you got a bed here and you got like a simple table with a teapot and a cup. And of course, once it's all together and that only took a few seconds, look at that. It closes just fine. You can probably put a couple of minifigures in there and close them up inside, but they'll be jiggling around. So of course the initial reaction from everyone is this is amazing. It looks so cool how it does that. The mechanics, the way it's done, the design, it's, to me it's totally flawless. You guys did an amazing, amazing job. That's so cool. I know they couldn't do too much here because when it folds up, it takes up the whole entire room so it can close. But just kind of wish when it props down, there was a little bit more things you can actually do to that. And I'm sure you guys can do that on your own, but it would just have been cool to like use this space a little bit more. 
you really can't say too much of the house because it's got to be small in order to fit inside the book. I like the color of it. It looks very fairy tale like. I love the little yellow and that orange kind of blend on the top. And it just looks cozy even though it's minimized. Flowers are a nice little touch, just to add a little bit of oomph to it. Chimney is cool. I like the design of it. And even the other side, it has two little slopes there that are like fire color. So it looks like fire going up the chimney and a door and a window. That's it. But I do like it, even though it's really small. This part's a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's just a table and that cup there. I mean, uh, yeah, I know they can't put too much in there, but a little, maybe a little bit more decoration. Maybe just a little bit more something there. Spice it up a little bit. Would have been really cool. The bed is actually really neat. You can actually fit a minifigure inside. Surprising. But again, it's just simple and plain. So if they start putting too many things in there, they probably won't close. They just kept it to a minimum. I just kind of wish it was a little bit more fuller looking, but I'm asking for too much. I always ask for too much. That's me, that's Scotty. I want more in the stuff. That's Little Red Riding Hood. And of course we got the minifigures. Speaking of minifigure, we got deer looking like the big bad wolf, huh? Ooh, you're so scary. Scary, I'll huff and puff and blow your house down. Dear, I think you got the wrong story from the wrong book, man. Oh, dang it. They really should put more of the stuff out then. I know. Hopefully LEGO releases more of just the insides for this book, or they release more books in different colors. But let's look at the minifigure. All right. The minifigure here, we got the big bad wolf with this torn up grandmother's outfit. I think well, he's in the story, it's kind of morbid. He's supposed to have eaten the grandmother, but you know, this is LEGO. It's got to be kid friendly. The wolf face does actually look kind of scary, man. But here he is in the grandma's outfit, all torn up. I like the details on that, very, very cool. And then you got the grandma here in the same outfit that's clean, nice, and printing everything. You know, it's Lego, man. These guys look really good. I like the color pink too. And of course, we got little red riding hood. I like the design, I like the hood. Kind of would have been cool if the hoodie was actually fabric too. Would have been really different, but you know, that's just me nitpicking at this thing. And she has a little basket, cookies. Yeah, she's got some cookies. Yeah, there she goes into grandma's house. So very cool. That is story one. Let's jump into story two. Move these all out of the way. And we're gonna pop this off. Just like that. See how easy that was? And this is solid, by the way. And they both have the same kind of design here, which is the set you're about to see. So you can totally do your own. Hmm. I wonder what I should do next. I'll take these out, as you saw. Look at that. Empty again. Put that in here. That actually looks really cool already. I really like this set. Then put this one here, snap that in. Look how easy that is, man. You can see where it attaches right there. Just put it on top, push it down, it's locked in. Only took a second, we'll prop this right up. Then you just attach a string to the first hole there and it holds it up and it's done. Look at that. We're gonna close it up. Are you ready for story number two? It's kind of obvious, but it's awesome because it pops up. I'm gonna open it sideways just because I can and see what happens. Boom. Whoa. So this is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. So we all know the story. If you don't know the story, go read the story, man. Jack sold a cow for some beans and dropped the beans and it turned into this beanstalk that he has to climb up for no apparent reason and go up to this place here. So Jack's going up the beanstalk, he's going into the giant's house and he's gonna steal a goose that lays golden eggs for whatever reason. He's gonna get rich later. The illusion of this Jack and the Beanstalk cityscape Landscape is awesome. It's so good. I love the big cloud there. Looks like the Twitter bird or a pig flying. And you got the windmill here on the other side. If it just would have been thicker and more, dang it, it would have been even better. But very cool. I think the beanstalk contraption is amazing, but it doesn't look so natural. It looks kind of mechanical, but hey, it's understandable. But at least they decorated the front here that looks like a beanstalk there. And it is being held open by the string that holds it down when the book is open. And that's cool. They put Jack's little house there and that's the giant's house on the top. I kind of wish the house was just a little bit bigger. I don't know whether or not they could have done that to fit more for the giant scale, but it's still really nice that they added this kind of concept into it. Let's hope they expand more on this. What a cool idea this is. Very cool concept indeed. And let's take a look at the minifigure. There's only one and the micro figures, yeah? You got the giant here. I love his printing on his outfit. I think that's actually pretty sweet. It kind of shows him how big he is, you know, because of the size of the barrels on him and even the goose. And there's the golden egg. And even on the back, the detail is awesome. You got the micro figure heads on there. Look, if you actually put the micro figure to that printing, it's like almost exactly the same. Really cool to see that. And you got the Jack micro figures. There's two of them in case you lose one of them. That's crazy how they're able to print so much detail. It's such a small little tiny figure. 
It's that time again for dimensions. Here's my 32 by 32 base plate. I know it's kind of useless to show the dimensions, but if you don't own this book and you just want to kind of know the size and how it will relate, here's your measurements. So get your 32 by 32 out. Let's just put this right on the plate so you guys get an idea. It is 17 studs by length and six studs by width, more or less. It's around there. And of course, I got my height brick here. We're gonna move it back. And as for the height, this is my one by four height stick, just so you guys know. And actually, if I put it here, it is 22 bricks in height. It's actually just slightly over. So it's more like 21 and a half bricks. But there you go. There's the height with the book closed. Let's open the sucker up and see what it's like on the inside. So for Jack and the Beanstalk, the giant house is actually pretty high up there. So if I put the stick here, our height stick, it's just shy of 20 bricks in height. Why did I have to do it? I have no idea. For the height of the book itself, it's just over three bricks in height. For Little Red Riding Hood's house, it's kind of around 11 bricks in height. It's just gonna touch the top of that roof there. And if the book is open, if I put the 32 base plate here, it's actually over 32, it's around 36 by length with the book open. And for the width, if I put it against here, it is 26. I have no idea if that's useful for you or not, but if you really wanted to, you can actually kind of just stick this right onto the base plate. Look at that. Stick it there. You know, you can put other books there or make your own books and put all your little figures there. And if you want to read the story, there you go. Useless dimensions. While we're here, you might as well check out durability. Look at that. Boing, boing, boing. You gotta be a little bit more gentle this way. You can't go too fast. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe it's still holding up. Very cool. So this is Lego's pop-up book. It's available in all your Lego stores. You guys really want to buy it from me? You can, I guess. Just email me if you really want me to, but you know, just walk across to your store and go get one for yourself. And there you go. So well, thank you, Lego, for putting this out. This is so cool. I want to see more of these, more stories. Come on, let's do it. Yes, what's next? All right, you guys, until next time, break me out. Once upon... Mmm, excuse me. Man, I gotta clean this thing, look. Dude, this color like really picks up everything. I don't know what it is, man. So for all you fans that stay at the end, here's Mini Deer and here is Mini, well, that's me. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do these adventures right now. So I have to put that story on hold from the last video and just show you guys a size comparison here so you get an idea of where you wanna put the minifigures. And they'll be back next time, right there. It's okay, Scotty. We all know you're busy. You just take your time. Let's go check out this place. Thanks, Deer. So yeah, here's the front. Deer can eat the leaf there. You can open the door here. Of course, the big bad wolf ate grandma, so we'll just put the wolf inside the bed there. You know, maybe Little Red Riding Hood is standing over here going, Grandma! Grandma! You look so different! And then Deer comes in here and goes, That's because you're not Grandma! I'm Deer! I'm gonna kick your ass! Better get out of bed, boy! And Minnie Scotty comes in here and goes, Deer, what are you doing, man? We're not supposed to interrupt these. These are fairy tale stories. I wonder if I can fit in the bed. Deer, get him out of here. So then Deer kicks out the big bad wolf and says, How about it, Scotty? Try the bed out, see how it feels. And of course, Scotty's wearing a brick shirt, so he can't really fit in there. But I'm sure other minifigures can fit in there, just cozy. All the meanwhile, Little Red Riding Hood is probably freaking out going, What is going on? Oh my goodness. And then big Scotty says, We don't have time for this. We gotta change the set right now. We don't have time, man. I gotta get to the next video. So here is Deer, here's me and me. Obviously, we're too big for the scale for this micro city. We should be little micro guys, right? Yeah, we need little micro Deer and little micro Scotty. What is going on here anyway? Well, you guys are actually in the story of the giant and the beanstalk. And of course, we got the giant who is right here. And I'm gonna put him up here. And he's gonna say, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I hope that's the right fairy tale. You call that a giant? He's like the same size as us. Deer's kind of right, Big Scotty. That giant's like the size of us. Yo, giant, you want some beans? Are you making fun of me? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, man? I'm the same size as you. Oh, it's harder to get up here than I thought. How the hell did you get up here, man? Big Scotty, you think this looks like a Twitter bird? Well, I told everyone it kind of looks like a pig as well. Oh no, it looks like a sad little puppy. Hey, little puppy, don't be so sad. Okay, you guys, chop, chop, chop. We gotta go. Next adventure, next video. I'm stuck in here. Here, there you go, all right. Sheesh, Scotty, so rush. Stay tuned for more videos. Scotty will be back with our adventures next time. For right now, enjoy these videos, and we'll be back soon.
I've always wanted to try this too, dear. You ready? Break it down!